Hey everybody, Sarah coming at you from Crazy Cluckers, poultry farm and goats. Wanting to talk a little bit today, doing hopefully a short video on livestock guardian dogs. Um, I've got Silo here with me. He is going to be my assistant today, and I'm being attacked by goat kids. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about LGDs. What are they? What are they for? Why do we have them? How did we get into them? So first of all, I want to start with LGD stands for Livestock Guardian Dog. And that is exactly what our Shiloh here is. Shiloh is an Anatolian Shepherd Dog. That is a breed of LGDs that is from Turkey. They've been around, they've done research saying 6,000 years these animals have been around and uh, their job is basically exactly what it sounds. They are to guide your livestock. That is their job to keep predators at bay and if predators decide to um, make the mistake of being a bit too persistent, they will take care of that threat for you. So that is Shiloh's job. We actually have four livestock guardian dogs, all Anatolian Shepherds. We have two males and two females. So I think one of the biggest misconceptions out there is that people think that a farm dog is an LGD or a guard dog is an LGD, and that is absolutely false. The reason being, there are traits that LGDs have that your regular normal dogs don't have. And there are traits that your house dogs, your normal dogs have, that LGDs don't have. So LGDs are very specialized tools that are very equipped to do a very particular job. So I guess if you're thinking about getting an LGD, I recommend even just Googling LGD breeds and you'll get a list of dogs Many you probably have never even heard of. There's many that I've never heard of and some you probably have heard of. So I would start there and to find out exactly what an LGD is. LGDs are, um, oh gosh, stop with the kisses. Um, it's a very serious commitment. So it's not something to get into unless you've done your research and have really educated yourself a lot on the breed. Um, look into I'm not trying to generalize but there are certain breeds that are known for certain things more so than others so for instance the reason we chose the Anatolian Shepherd is in our area in Michigan we live in a very rural area Great Pyrenees were the number one breed of LGDs in our area to find LGDs or I'm sorry Great Pyrenees are known for being barkers really big barkers and escape artists. So we have neighbors, our setup is kind of odd. So we are kind of surrounded by neighbors in a pretty cl close proximity on three sides. And then the fourth side behind me is wide open and it goes back and back and back. And that of course is where our predator load comes in from really heavily. Our predator load is bear, mountain lions, coyotes, wolves those are the big ones and then we have the small annoyances your bobcats your weasels um, fisher raccoons that will peck off our poultry we have dairy goats we have a dairy goat farm and we have poultry as well and geese and ducks and rabbits so we needed something to take care of all that for us the predators were coming closer and closer each year to the point that this fence right here behind me they would walk right up to it and on this side of me, back here, on these trees, we had seen a mountain lion. So kidding season comes and you've got the smell of blood and you've got the screaming of does and babies and they would just, I mean, you could like just see their little eyes light up at night. They'd come right up. And I don't feel comfortable having guns around so we needed something for protection. So we started looking and LGDs popped up. So I didn't want something that barked a lot because of the neighbors that we have on our sides. Um, so Anatolian Shepherds were an option that came up that were not big barkers and not terrible escape artists. So we started doing our research. And in my research, they were difficult to find. There weren't any in my area and they were really expensive. So I just kind of kept doing research, kept educating myself and very happenstance, one popped up that was for sale 
very reasonable Lee Price because he was a year and a half old, so he wasn't a puppy. And it was our guy Shiloh right here. And the rest is history. I fell in love. And I'll never have another breed of LGD. I'll probably never have a different breed of dog, period. Like, the, game, the buck stopped right there with this guy. Like, I fell in love. Fell in love, absolutely, with him. Um, something about him. And so after that, we got a few more. And so now we're set. So if you're looking at getting into LGDs, you need to, a few things, not only research what breeds are available to you, research their tendencies, what will work for your situation, but also look at your acreage and your predator load. If you have two acres and your predator load is pretty low, you're not gonna wanna get four or five LGDs. They're gonna be bored off the rocker. They're gonna get into trouble. So if you have, let's say 80, 120, 200 acres and a heavy predator load, you need some numbers behind you because Shiloh here is on the large end of the breed standard. So he's 33 inches tall, probably 140 to 150 pounds. He's a big boy and he packs a punch. But I don't care how big your LGD is, when it comes to a pack of wolves, he doesn't stand a chance. He probably doesn't stand a chance against a pack of coyotes. And predators are smart. So what the coyotes will do is they'll send out, for instance, a girl in heat. They'll send her up. He'll go check her out if she's in heat. And she'll kind of be the scout, the decoy. And around the back end, coming up a different end, will be several other pack members and they'll get you there. So while he's busy using his nose and his hormones, someone else will get you from the backside. So you need a pack. So we definitely need a pack with our predator load here. Ideally to run, um, you know, we can run ours in two pairs or what a lot of people will do is they'll run two, three females and one male. So the other thing that I find isn't true with everybody's situation, but within our situation is our males are more kind of the sit, silent, watch. I'm going to take a nap over there. If something comes and needs to be taken care of, come wake me up. I'll, I'll go help you out. And the girls are more of the, I'm always on point. I'm always watching. I'm always listening. I want to know the where, the why, the what's going on. And the males are just kind of more like, hey, I'll kind of park it up somewhere high, take a nap, and just kind of wait. So um, between the two, it's a pretty great balance. Um, Anatolians, though, they are very intense. They're a very intense breed of dog. They don't do anything halfway. So when they play, they play hard. When they play, you think that they are attacking and trying to kill each other, and they're just playing. That's all they're doing. They're just rough, tumble, big animals. They guard hard, they play hard, and they love really hard. So once you have their loyalty, you are set. You are set once you have that. So best dog I've ever had hands down, um, trustworthy, loyal, they've got your back, but not for, I wouldn't say a first time dog owner, not for a house dog, um, not unless you have a good sized house, and not unless you have um, a really good size fenced in yard. So great job, or a great dog if you can keep them mentally stimulated. Um, they're busy, they're very intelligent, they like to stay busy. So as long as you've got the work for these guys, just do your research. And they're not always big attack killers. They do this a lot of the times, most of the time actually. And nugglers. If when I'm, when I'm milking, when I've got the girls up on the stanchion, he's got one paw on me and uh, just wants to be pet and loved and snuggled and don't make him mad. Don't try to don't try to hurt his kids, his people, or his charge out here, and you'll be all right. So, any questions you have about LGDs, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if you need any resources or help finding one, let me know. I'll see what I can do to hook you up. Um, and that's with any breed. I know a lot of breeders that breed a lot of other breeds of LGDs as well. So even if the Anatolian isn't for you, I can help you find something that will suit you. And uh, they can guard anything. They can guard goats, sheep, horses, cattle, poultry. They can do it all. A really multi-purpose tool. And uh, 
they're really just amazing so thanks for tuning in guys we'll talk to you again soon enjoy this beautiful day and we'll come at you again soon guys thanks bye